for the last time anything you put on that prompter, me will read. Arnold Q1. To fund Social Security and eliminate Obamacare in the middle of a pandemic. And to quote. We've talked a lot about robot Joe Biden, about how Joe Biden walks, talks like a robot, how Joe Biden falls off his bike, he falls down the stairs of Air Force One. But there is probably no worse example of Joe Biden's extreme mental deterioration than the fact that Joe can't get through a single meeting without note cards that were written for somebody who seems to have no functional brain stem. The note cards of Joe Biden have been photographed a few times. It's like photographing a Yeti or a Bigfoot. You can see them, just little flashes of what Joe Biden's handlers tell him. And every time you get a chance to read them, you get to peer inside of the debilitated state of Joe Biden. This happened just last week when Joe Biden sat down to a clean energy meeting at the White House and the cards were once more revealed. What did Joe Biden's note cards say? Well, in big, bold letters, they said, you enter the Roosevelt room and say hello. You take your seat. You give brief brief comments. You ask Liz Schuler a question. Liz is joining virtually, just in case you were wondering where this person is, the president of the AFL-CIO, you're a big union guy, Joe, maybe you should know who that person is. You thank participants, you depart. I have a two-year-old. I don't even speak to my two-year-old like this. This is how cobbled Joe Biden's brain is. This is how depressed his staff is. Joe Biden has effed up so many events. America's dead. And such a humiliation to White House advance team that they have to write him notes like they were speaking to a kindergartner. And that's probably because Joe Biden is Benjamin buttoning himself as he slowly deteriorates into a childlike kindergartner. Happens to the best of us, Joe Biden is clearly not fit for office, 25th Amendment. But this isn't the first time we've been able to photograph Joe Biden's note cards. Joe Biden had handwritten notes photographed earlier in the year talking about Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris, do not hold grudges. Campaigned with her. She's talented. She's a great help. She's he has great respect for her. Let me ask you a question. If you were president and you had a vice president who is the person who would take your office, somebody who you clearly trust implicitly with every aspect of the presidency because they would be president if something were to befall you or some tragedy were to happen or you were to be incapacitated or the 25th Amendment, would you have to write down a note that you respect that person and that she or he is a great help and talented? Would you need to write down a note that you campaigned with them and that you won't hold grudges against them? This is what's going on inside of Joe Biden's beleaguered mind. It's not the last time we had photos of Joe Biden's handwritten notes. That's right, Joe Biden had notes about Donald Trump and Donald Trump's Department of Justice. These were notes photographed Earlier in 2021, Joe Biden's talking points. Trump abused the power of the DOJ. Now we have to clean it up. I've made clear that this DOJ will reflect my values. Donald Trump ruined things. That is essentially Joe Biden's only talking point, but he has to have it written down on giant cards. It's not even ending there. Check out the size of Joe Biden's teleprompter. It is the size of a billboard in Madison Square Garden. It's the size of a giant screen in Times Square. Joe Biden has a teleprompter the size of the stage at the Super Bowl halftime show. Joe Biden isn't with us, and we all know what happens when Joe Biden doesn't have a teleprompter. Check out Joe Biden trying to talk to lifelong hardened leftist Democrat Jimmy Kimmel inside of leftist Los Angeles with a leftist mask wearing audience. Here's what Joe Biden sounds like without a teleprompter. You turn on the TV, look at the ads. When's the last time you saw biracial couples on TV? When's the last time you saw the way, I mean, people are selling products, they do ads to sell products and they sell products. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. They have 
they have 9,000 drilling sites that they already own that are there. They're not doing it. You know why? Because they make more money not drilling and buying back their own stock. Well, on climate change, we've actually made some real moves. I mean, we have, we have, you know, one in seven of all the changes that have taken place in terms of solar, wind, and and and, and wind pumps, and I mean, uh, pumps and like, uh, have occurred in the last 18 months. We've moved, and there's an opportunity. One of the things is that it's very difficult now to have a um, even. With notable exceptions, even the really good reporters, they have to get the number of clicks on on the, on nightly news. Mm-hmm. So instead of asking a question, anyway, it just everything gets gets sensationalized in ways. That, but I'm convinced we can get through this. We have to get through it. And one of the things, look, I'm going to take a break, and then we'll talk a little bit more. I don't, if you don't mind. You. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have some of those commercials. I, 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 I we have some biracial you. commercials we need to show. We'll be back. And sadly, it's not the last time we'll hear Joe Biden without a note card or a teleprompter. The humiliation and embarrassment of this nation continues apace. Remember this. Time to see the the what used to be called a Rust Belt become the the the, the home of a, a significant resurgence of manufacturing. Putin may circle Kiev with tanks, but he'll never gain the hearts and souls of the Iranian people. He'll never, he'll never extinguish their preventing Russia's central bank from defending the Russell ruble, r- ruble. And a pound of Ukrainian people, the proud, proud people, pound for pound. There's simply nothing beyond our, comas- our capacity. Increasing the productive capacity of our economy. Of our economy. I call it building a better America. <laughs> we won't stop. <clears throat> because you can't build a wall high enough to keep out a, 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 a vaccine. The vaccine can stop the spread of these diseases. <clears throat> As one people, one America, the United States of America. God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Thank you. Go get him. Thank you so much for watching. Our channel is here for the truth and also to make you smile a little bit in this extreme era of disinformation and misinformation and people trying to control your brain and what happens inside of it. It's so important that we support independent creators like our channel, and we thank you for watching. If you want to check out some more of our videos, we highly encourage that. Please punch the like and subscribe buttons on your screen to support our channel. It's free. And ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that you are following along with independent creators who want to keep this place free. God bless you.